Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Funko Pop Hall, uh, August 5th, 2023. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And as you can see here, I got a couple of things. I mean, it's not a really big haul, but it's big enough, especially when you see the heavy hitter that I got today. I'm going to start off with heavy. The doozy of the mall, Spike Spiegel. Uh, I got the biggest grail out of the four. I got these two. These are next. Um, I believe she's the second highest and probably the fourth. Between It's probably a tie between these two or the fourth highest. Or fourth highest. But yeah, Faye's next. If I could spot her. But yeah, Spike. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. This is the... This is the... Um, Cowboy Bebop that I remember, right? So yeah, heavy hit. And of course, let me start off with the guy in the thumbnail, Obanai Iguro from or Iguro from Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, the uh, Funko Pop Shop original. You know, uh, originally from that shop and nowhere else. Uh, I don't know why they's included with this set when another set's coming up. Pretty, pretty soon. Let's see the date. What date do they have in the bottom here for y'all? Okay, 2023. So it is this year. Hmm. To be fair, I think the other one was for this year too. Because, yeah, these were here. Oh, no, 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 no. More the end of last year. So, yeah. Uh, if I can remember correctly. Yep, 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 yep. Radio. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll be doing a separate video for all the Demon Slayers of, you know. Uh, yeah, BAM exclusive. Books a million exclusive Mahito. Uh, one of the main antagonists of Jujutsu Kaisen that isn't uh, Sakuro, the guy who got, who's against Gojo and taken possession of Yuji Itadori. Anyways, Mahito Books a Million Edition has... Metal fingers, spirit fingers. <laughs> yeah. Basically same pose as this mojito. Not just kidding, mojito. But with Freddy Krueger chain hands. Fingers, you know. So, yeah. Next. Another Funko Shop exclusive. Shinobu Kocho. Probably the most cosplayed character in all of Demon Slayer. Very, very popular. Not, I don't get it, but I guess I should get it. You know, but yeah. Anyways, it, it, again, it really bugs me that they were able to get the eyes of these characters, but not give uh, Nezuko her pink eyes. Um, you know what? Fandom to uh, Funko Shop. You know, we need you to do an exclusive with uh all the character all the all the versions of uh nezuko needing uh pink eyes instead of black you know mm -hmm. so yeah kind of grailish since um let me explain why this is these these are probably going to be grailish because they said that they you know they only do one run and that's it it's a wrap they ain't gonna do it no more that's it they ain't gonna do no more no more you know no more uh yeah, no more. There'll be no more. One run, that's it. No more reprints. It's a wrap. They got stuck with a bunch of landfill pops, and they're like, yeah, nope, we're not going to get stuck with that no more. Mostly Disney, I imagine, but, you know. And this one's a special one, because I think this is my first official Blacklight piece. I don't think I enjoy, uh, I own a, a single Blacklight anything. This is my, my first. Yeah, Crusaderette. Yeah, black light. Kind of cool. I like it. I got a. I have a real soft spot for ECC. I had such a magical time there with uh, my good buddies over in Superheroes in Training. And yeah, I, I'll, I'll. Like of all the memories I had at Con, that was probably my most favorite. And I wasn't even really a spectator. I was a. I was working, you know, so as a vendor with them. Fun times. Fun times. Uh, yeah. Uh, I love the package, everything. 
I'm going to have to do a, um, a thing for this, a separate video for this. But yeah, limited to 3K pieces. I'm happy. All right, next up. The Toucan Special Edition from uh, San Diego Cam Comic Con. I think he was supposed to come with a bag, but I don't care about the bag because, you know, I'm not about that Funko bag life. But I like this because look at him. He's flying. He's got a stand. And it's the SEC sticker, not the shared sticker. Yeah. Pretty exciting. The Toucan. Toucan. Yeah, I, I make it a mission to get all the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive uh, sticker versions of the Toucan. I'm very torn about getting the Freddy Funko version of him dressed up as a Toucan. Who am I lying? I'm probably going to end up getting it <laughs> just because it's just the way I am wired. Just not right. Meow. All right, and this is the last but not least. This one was probably the coolest one that I got out of the bunch. La Muerte. Entertainment Earth Exclusive Limited Edition, and it glows in the dark. Shall we test it? We'll do a test in the in the in the. In, or no, you know what? I'm gonna do a single focus video to test this bad boy. I'm not gonna do this for a uh, for the Funko Hall, but yeah, you know, bear with me, guys. Just I'll, I'll do a video for this open and everything. You guys will be happy. But this is supposed to be based on Loteria Don Clemente, some kind of board game that they have been, you know, among. Mexicanos, you know, this is what they do. This is what they play, you know. And it looks like, oh, snap. There's other characters. El Diabalito and La, Chu, La Chalupa. Interesting. I think I like this one the most, though. I'll probably end up getting all of them just because I'm from the 619 and uh, my locality prevents me from ignoring this. Yeah. Well, all right, folks, that's all I got for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Funko Pop Hall of August 5, 2023. I am your host, Coco Smooth, and until the next video, folks, ciao.